Let's take a look at this problem. Got f of x is equal to 4x squared plus 3x minus 5 all over 2x squared minus x plus 3. And one final horizontal asymptote. So we'll look at the limit as x goes to infinity. I'll show it with calculus first. And then 4x squared plus 3x minus 5 over 2x squared minus x plus 3. And how we solve these is we divide everything by x to the largest power from your denominator. Our largest power downstairs is the x squared. So we divide everything by x squared. So we've got 4x squared over x squared plus 3x over x squared minus 5 over x squared all over 2x squared over x squared minus x over x squared plus 3 over x squared. So we've got limit as x goes to infinity. These x squareds cancel. So we've got 4 plus 3 over x minus 5 over x squared all over 2 plus 1 over x plus 3 over x squared. And now we're ready to plug in infinity for the x. So we're going to have 4 plus 3 over infinity minus 5 over infinity squared all over 2 plus 1 over infinity plus 3 over infinity squared. Now we're technically not plugging in infinity because it's not a value. We're studying it as approaches. And remember if you have a number over infinity that goes to zero. So we're going to have 4 plus 0 minus 0 over 2 plus 0 plus 0. Which gives us 4 halves which gives us 2. Okay, now let's look at an algebra. Uh, degree is your largest power of x. So the degree of the top is 2, degree of the bottom is 2. And when you have that, for your horizontal asymptote, you create a fraction taking the number off the front of the x to the largest power. So we've got a 4 up on top, number in front of the x squared. And down below we've got a 2, number in front of the x squared. And 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. And that would be our horizontal asymptote.